how's it going everybody it is your boy here the bees knees and i'm here with pops today and we are getting ready to head down to the first day of the sundial bridge comic con now this is pretty much as local and close to home as a con gets for us i think this is the second or third year it's been running but um my dad's trying to race alexis <laughs> i'm trying to race nobody if i was trying to race would it be in a rare view I think this is like the second or third year it's it's run, ran? It's been running. I think it's, yeah, I don't know. I'm rambling now. Oh, that truck has Autobot logos on it. The yellow Colorado did. Anyways. Anyways, um, we are going to go. I'm going to be entering the cosplay competition that they're doing tomorrow. And I have a fur meet that I'm going to be attending. So that is why the boy is here today. It is at the Red Lion over here in Redding. So I'm pretty excited to see how how the convention goes it's a you know small cozy little hometown con and but they're having a cosplay competition there's a bunch of panels and a bunch of autographs and signings and stuff like that so i'm excited to see how it goes but we're gonna go head over there and get our badges and everything and i'm gonna get signed up for the competition tomorrow and yeah anyways we'll see you guys over at the convention center and hurry. thank you so much <laughs> These are really cool. I like the Bo Katan one. Yeah. Yeah. And they got the armor. Are they 3D printed? Is that yeah, what that is? Yeah, 3D printed, but they have to be painted and put the visor on. But for a hundred bucks, dude, that's not bad for a hundred. Yeah, for real. I think I'm gonna take my head off so I can breathe for a little bit. Okay. So we've picked up a stray person. Helly. <laughs> oh, hello. The there. one and only Helly. Hello there. Thanos. Bro, you want me to take a picture with you with Thanos? Sure. Take an picture. Take a picture? Wait, right, keep doing it. Do it. Keep doing it. Oh, <laughs> 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 
that Throw it back. What are you doing? Oh, uh, you want me to do that? Yeah. Moz. I got it. The backdrop looks really nice on it, actually. Yeah. That looks hog. <laughs> POV? Dude, for a second when you were raising your arms up like this, I thought your elbow tufts were armpit hair, and I was like, why are her armpits so long? Because <laughs> it was like way above. I was like, why is her armpit so long? <laughs> you guys are literally so cute. We was vibing. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, I like your bed. Tell it, I gotta give it the bombastic side eye. <laughs> Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium yes. Leviosa. That's, right. That's Hermione's uh, spell. Spells and shit. Bro, when I played the Harry Potter game, I learned a bunch of spells, but I forgot them because I wasn't into Harry Potter. I just wanted to play the video game. Yeah, we are getting into our second round of costume. Well, second round for me. First round for Haley. Haley's getting her wizardry robes, and I got I got the Harry Potter right now. Can't really see, but who's that? And yeah, there's my dad just uh, kicking it. Confundo. What about the conjunctivitis curse? Dang. <laughs> That's a bad one, bro. That's the that fix the eyes. Prinus mutus. He's over there just reading Harry Potter spells. I don't have my wand, and now that it's Haley, so I'm... we're gonna have to climb a tree for some wands. <laughs> Might want not want to go in there for a couple of days <laughs> or weeks. Think of that one. Bro, you're being a public disturbance. That one's kind of whimsical. <laughs> I hate these shoes. I should have worn the Nikes, bro. Had they reboxed the straps? For real. Yeah, this tree kind of sucks. Hey. This tree doesn't even have good wands. That tree doesn't suck. This tree ain't even got good wands, bro. Maybe we're not meant to take one from that tree. Alrighty, so we've just been walking around. We completed a quest and got a dragon. I don't have a name for it. Oh, we should have recorded the quest. Oh, we should have. Dang it. Anyways, we got we got Haley signed up for the cosplay competition. And oh, we could because they won't recognize us tomorrow. Or at least me. We'll be in a different disguise. But yeah, so I got a dragon and I got some other stuff, and I'm gonna show you guys when we get back to the room. But right now we're just asking to borrow a lightsaber for tomorrow, so Haley can do Obi Wan Kenobi, and then we're probably gonna go get some food. And yeah, I will show you guys everything that I got and do the full haul tour once we get back to the room. So yeah. How's it going, everybody? It's your boy the Bees Knees, and this is the part in the vlog where I show you guys everything that I got today. Um, obviously, there wasn't as many booths as like we're used to seeing considering this isn't as high of a caliber as a convention as you guys are used to attending with me but for a small town local convention it was actually pretty fun we've gotten to meet and talk to a lot of really cool people and met a lot of really cool artists and we were able to support some of those artists so that's what i'm going to be showing you guys today so let's get into it the first little stand I went to, I cannot remember the artist's name, so I apologize if you're watching this and I totally spaced it. Um, they had cryptid stickers and they had Fresno Nightcrawlers, which are like, they're, they're my favorite little, little pants monsters. And so like, I, I love them. They just chill, they just vibe and they're holographic. So I got one for me and I got one for my friend Haley. And then the next booth that I went to, again, I cannot remember the name for the life of me, so I apologize for that. I need to start like grabbing business cards and paying more attention to this. So that's something I will do in the future because every time I get to this part of filming, I always like choke up because I'm like, oh, I got this from, uh, uh, uh. So we can't be having that no more. But um, I got this pin that says, I'm Kenna because it's hilarious. So we got that. And then, we got this sticker that says straight out of horny jail. It's just a stupid funny sticker and I love it. I'm tempted to put it on my water bottle, <laughs> but I don't know. 
I don't know, maybe a different water bottle. I have tons of water bottles. And then who doesn't love some good pronoun pins? So we got she, they, and then we got he, they, and then we got they, them. And those are always good to have. So got some of those. Uh, and then the next little artist that I went to had these ad absolutely adorable enamel pins. And I got this Leafy on one because Leafy on is my favorite EV evolution. And then I got this little Smilodon pin because Smilodons are my favorite prehistoric animal. And then also he's black and yellow. And I love black and yellow, obviously, because bees. Just for some more representation um, from the same booth, they had these little like uh, pride flag tigers and I got the ace one because yes. Um, and the one that made the two enamel pins and then the uh, the pride tiger sticker is doodle pies and you guys can follow them right there. That's all their socials and everything on there. Um, but yeah, I actually had a business card from them. So yeah. And then we stopped by this booth called Games and Brews and they were like, uh, answer a trivia question to win a prize. And the girl in front of me had a trivia question for the show Firefly and I've never watched Firefly. So I was like, oh dang, like I'm, I'm not gonna get this, but I'm gonna try anyways. And she's like, no, so the shows are like all different things. And she, um, she like had this little like, little like mystery roller thing with all of these little beads in them that had numbers on them. Like it was like a bingo, um, like a bingo chooser mixer thing. I don't know, I'm tired, <laughs> but she had one of those and it had a bunch of beads with like numbers and letters on it. And I think funny enough, I did get in seven, which is funny cause it's a Mass Effect reference. And she was like, so your category is parts of the Caribbean. And I was like, okay, maybe I can get this cause I'm not super big, like knowledgeable on everything from it, but I did grow up watching the movie. So hopefully I get it. And she was like, what was the name of Captain Jack Sparrow's ship? And I was like, hey, I actually know that one. It's the Black Pearl. And the prize was a set of dice. And so I picked the black and yellow one because you can pick any color that you'd like. And so, yeah, I got a little free mystery bag of dice because I guessed a question correctly. And up next was one of the things that I'm probably the most excited about because I was walking by this booth and I seen this guy had a bunch of comic books about cats and he was the writer for all of them. And so I picked up one of the series and unfortunately this book series only has one out right now. That is literally the only unfortunate thing about him. Um, it was really giving Warrior Cats vibes, but like in a comic book style. And so I grabbed this. I literally read it in the car right after I got it. And this is already amazing and I want more. And I went in there and I told them, I was like, hey, I read your comic. It is amazing. Please give me more. When is more coming out? And he said that more is definitely in development, but the art style on this is really, really cool. It's all in full color and it's called Rescue Cats. And it has all of the main five characters here on the front, as well as on the logo. And then there's a little logo on the back. Um, and then he gave me some free character cards of all of the main five of the cats. And I did get a duplicate of this one, but it's actually fine because this is my favorite cat character like in the book series. I don't want to spoil too much right now, but if you liked Warrior Cats or Seekers or anything like that, or you just really like cats and you like superhero type, comics and stories this is definitely for you because it's a comic book series about cats with superpowers and i love that and then this is a um a scene from the strip it's actually the final scene in the strip um and it's just a little poster print of that there's another one from another scene in this that i want to go back and get so if there's more of them left over tomorrow i will probably go do that because that scene is really beautiful and i'm already emotionally invested into this book so um yeah i'm excited for that anyways moving on to the next the next item we saw this lovely book booth again i cannot remember the name of the people i actually think i grabbed their business card just a second so we stopped by the writing roots booth i actually ended up getting their card um and they sent us on a little quest to find their dragon at dice tower and then we had to go and do this little quest do this mission and roll some dice um, we both rolled some d20s and then came back and we got this little free gift from doing the quest and um, i know Haley and i both got different ones but i got these two really pretty d20s and i really like them a lot they're like a red marble and this one's got green numbers and this one has yellow numbers and then there are some chocolate doubloons in here for the quest and then this little this little metal trinket thing it's got a dragon on one side and then a little 
shield with some swords on the other side. And it came, it came in this really soft bag. Like it's, it's really like, I, I love this bag very, very much. So I was pretty excited about that. And then I went to this other booth, this little crochet booth, and they had little vile plumes. Like vile plume is one of my favorite Pokemon. Like I'm definitely a plant type Pokemon person, but vile plume is one of my favorite Pokemon ever. And so I had to go get this little guy when I seen him because you can never find good merch or vile plume like ever. And so I was like, I love him very, very much. I must cherish him. So there was really only one guy there selling comic books. And if you know me, I was really bummed when all the comic book stores shut down in Reading. Like, can we please get some open again? Because I love comic book stores. And he had a whole big section of Transformers comics and he was just trying to get rid of a bunch of stuff. So I got a pretty good sized little stack of some Transformers comics and he's pulling me out some more tomorrow that are pretty rare ones. So I'm like, but anyways, this is the Transformers Megatron Origins comic, and I'm really hoping we get to see some, like, Orion Pax and Megatronus in here, and, like, I hope it really talks about them when they were homies, so I'm excited for this one a lot. And then he had, and then he had a Transformers Prime Beast Hunters comic, I've seen Starscream's lovely mug on the front of that and I definitely can't wait to give this one a read. And then I got a few of these ones right here. Okay, so these are the Transformers official movie prequel line of comics. So these are all Bayverse, as you can see from like the Bayverse designs on things. And um, on the back of this one, it does have the original Transformers movie poster, um, basically a small version of the poster that I have that's actually from the theatrical release. But I have never read these and I heard about them, so I got two, three, and four. Um, so I'm missing one and five, and he said he's he said that he has the whole set, so he's gonna try to dig those up for me tomorrow. But I cannot wait to see some see some content of my B boy because B is right there, so I'm excited for that. This one was just judging the book by its cover. I have not read any of the Combiner Wars series yet, but it had Wheeljack on it and he looks really, really cool in the artwork for all of these. They had tons of Combiner Wars comics, so but I don't really know how these are numbered chronologically. So I just got one of these just to just to try it out. Um, but yeah, it has Wheeljack on it. So I was excited about that. And then this is the official Revenge of the Fallen comic adaptation. It has Starscream's lovely mug on there again, but live action this time. And it's a little bit thicker of a comic book. So I'm wondering like, did they fit the whole movie in there or not? Well, it says this is number three, cover B. So yeah. We'll hopefully, fingers crossed for some Bumblebee content in there. And then this one I got solely because it has Bumblebee on the cover of it. Uh, Transformers Devastation. I have not read any of these either, but um, I'm pretty excited to check them out and give it a go. So yeah, I got a pretty good stack of Transformers comics and there's probably more on the way tomorrow. Um, but yes, anyways. And then the last thing I bought. After seeing the adorable dragon that the lovely lady had at the writer's booth, I had to go get one. I had to go get a friend. I had to go get a friend because I have seen these on TikTok for the longest time and I have never gotten one. And mine's a long boy. He was a little bit bigger than like, he wasn't the smallest, but he wasn't the biggest. He was kind of like the medium sized ones you could get, but he's very, very pretty. And I cannot figure out a name for him yet. Wow. But yes, his, his wings are fully like, you can move them around and you can fold them in too. So his wings can like sit like that. So he's like, so he's like that. But yes, just a 3D printed dragon friend. And I wanna put him on my bookshelf or on like my new like plant shelf and stuff that's gonna be coming in the mail. But yes, he is just a little, a little guardian water dragon. And I don't know what I want to name him yet. I don't know if I was thinking something more like celestial themed or space themed or like something water based themed or like how train dragon themed, but he's also blue like Jake Sully's Ikran. So maybe, I don't know, we'll see. I will post, I will post him on Twitter and see what you guys think I should name him. But um, yeah, this is just my small dragon friend that I got, but Anyways, so far this con has been pretty fun. I'm definitely excited for tomorrow. I'm going to be entering uh, Z-Dog in the cosplay competition. I got all signed up and everything today. 
So I am super, super excited for that. Um, I'm excited to have fun and just show off my stuff to my local crowd. So this is definitely a close to home convention for me. And like I said, whereas it's not the biggest one I've ever been, I've ever went to, um, actually the smallest. <laughs> um, I do, I just, I have fun interacting with people on a more personal level here. And it was awesome, you know, getting to meet the other furries around here today and getting to hang out with them and just, you know, experience everything in the fullest. So uh, I don't know what we're doing for the rest of the night, but Haley and I are gonna figure out something to do. Um, and then, yeah, I will be seeing you guys tomorrow. So thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in and wish me luck tomorrow. We'll see you guys.